Hello, my dear students. So let us go to ICSE Semester 2 Examination 2022 Commercial Studies Specimen Question Paper with Solutions. So let's start. So answer is highlighted in green for MCQ. You can go through it. So 10 MCQs will be given to you. You, can, you have to choose the answers very wisely. So let us start. Number one, DAS budget. So production budget contains an estimate of total volume of production week wise month wise and product wise okay number two dash market consists of so capital capital is the correct answer capital market consists of all organizations then number three number three capital of the company is divided into equal parts called shares then number four aptitude selection test aptitude selection test six to measure a candidate's capacity to learn particular skills and test his potential abilities so three and four is over number five das is a positive process which creates a pool of uh, candidates so answer is recruitment number six the das function of central bank so clearing house c is the correct answer Number seven, preference shares do not carry voting rights. Number eight, the result of the trading account is gross profit. Number nine, warehouse is an establishment for storage or accumulation of goods. And the last MCQ, indemnity means promise to compensate in case of loss. So C is the correct answer for number 10. So now section B answer any three questions from this section you have to answer any three okay so answer is highlighted in blue you can go through it if you need it copy it or else you can take the screenshot also so that it will help you like uh, I'm not going to read the answers you can copy it okay like question number one question number two one explain application bank as step in the selection process. So it is mentioned candidate who succeeds in a preliminary interview is generally required to fill in a specially drafted application blank form. The application blank contains a record of the candidates, qualifications, experience, etc. It can be used as a good test device to understand the expression and writing and other abilities of the candidate. Number two, what is a production budget? The answer is the production budget is an estimate of the production both in terms of physical quantity as well as cost expect for a specified period it may be prepared in two parts that is production volume budget for the physical units of the product to be manufactured and the cost of manufacturing budget detailing the budgeted cost so question number two number three so answer is c it's a long answer i'm going to read only the points explain in three reasons why warehousing is important number one reason is seasonal production number two demand number three demand at various places so explanation is given over here you can copy it down if you need it number four explain in any three principles explain any three principles of insurance so the first one is utmost good faith number two insurable interest number three indemnity so you have to explain any three now let us move on to next question question number three explain mobile wallets mobile wallet is an app based app payment service through which money can be transferred to another person or received from him for this purpose one has to download a prescribed payment app on the smartphone and get registered for the same the mobile application can be linked to one's bank account, debit card or credit card and payment can be processed by using QR scan code or the mobile number. Next question is what is insurance? You know it. So answer is here. Insurance is a contract between two parties by which one of them undertakes against a sum known as premium to indemnity the other against a loss which may arise on the happening of some untowards event. Okay, so it is a contract. Now next number three, write short notes on fire insurance, cash credit. So what is fire insurance? Fire insurance is the insurance which covers losses caused by fire. Number B, cash credit. Cash credit is an as 
sorry cash credit is an arrangement by which the bank advances cash upon cash loans upon the specified limit to the customers against a security okay then when a cash loan is granted the borrowers open a current account with that amount in the bank the borrower has the right to withdraw the full amount of loan interest is charged on the amount actually utilized by the borrower and not on the whole amount granted to him okay that is cash credit number 4 what is external recruitment explain employment exchanges recommendations as source of external recruitment so the answer is given over here what is external recruitment external source of recruitment refers to a sources external to the organization through which a suitable candidates are searched following are the two external sources of recruitment number one employment exchanges and number two is recommendations okay so employment exchanges government has set up employment exchanges throughout the country anyone seeking employment can get himself registered in the employment exchange employees notify the vacancies and the various exchanges refer suitable candidates for recruitment next number now next one is question number 4 1 what is budget budget is an estimate of financial activities of business to achieve certain specific purpose or in other words budget is an outline of future financial activities primarily it involves an estimation of the for future expects of payment okay once again primarily it involves an estimation of the future receipts and payments number 2 explain placement agency the source of external recruitment you can go through it the next explain in three steps of selection process number 1 is preliminary interview number 2 a blank application okay then selection test okay you can copy it if you require it or else no need to waste your time then number 4 write short notes on discounting of bills of exchange imps so please you can now do it yourself imps is a short form of immediate payment services immediate payment services okay so this service is provided by national payments corporation of india npci 24 into 7 in a year that is service is provided 24 into 7 now number 5 what is a central bank central bank is the apex policy making and monitoring institutions of the monetary and banking system of the country reserve bank of india is the central bank of india so don't get confused with reserve bank and the central bank which what is which is the cent, uh, central bank of india reserve bank of india is the central bank of india now number 2 what is master budget master budget is a consolidated summary of various functional budgets it is a culmination of preparation of all other budgets like sales budget production budget purchase budget etc okay it consists in reality of the budgeted profit and loss account the balance sheet and the budgeted fund funds flow statement the next explain any two function of central bank so number one is issue of currency okay issuing of currency the function of central bank number two custodian of foreign exchange custodian of foreign exchange okay then number four write short notes on intellectual property fraud then internet and cyber fraud so these are short notes you have to write it down and number six state any two differences between credit card and debit card so easily you can write this answer okay then next one state any two disadvantages of internal recruitment so two at disadvantages no opportunity for outside deserving candidates number two promotion of inefficient employees okay so two at disadvantages now you have to go through this using use the following trial balance to complete the financial account of mr k kant for the year ending march 31 2021 so it is here everything is given over here okay on the basis of this you have to fill in the blank so number one blank answer is purchase return okay 14 what is 14000 then number two carriers inward that is 18000 number three fill in the blanks 1 lakh 16000 okay so this you have to fill it after doing the calculation now next one profit and loss account 
the first number of blanks of number three it is mentioned one lakh sixteen thousand and here net profits are six thousand so answers are highlighted in green you can go through it yourself okay wherever you see the underlined uh, in green that is the answer provided for the balance sheet okay so this was for today thank you very much hope this video will help you a lot if you have not started